We're the NC Beer Guys. We drink beer produced here in North Carolina, provide our opinions of them here on our web blog, and also on our website, ncbeerguys.com. Remember, drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina. Today we are drinking and reviewing the White Street Brewing Company's White Street Scottish Ale. White Street Brewing is a brand new facility, locally owned, beer manufacturing facility in historic downtown Wake Forest at, of course, 218 South White Street. They handcraft flavorful small batch ales and lagers you can enjoy in the tap room and soon at restaurants, bars, and other establishments. In the tap room, you can see the entire brewing operation and while enjoying some, brewed on the premises goodness. Make the trip to White Street, check out what's new on the uh, NC craft beer scene. Of the White Street Scottish Ale, White Street says it pours a deep mahogany. Yep. And produces a light tan head. Yep. So it gives way to a complex <laughs> maltiness we'll see in a minute. Herbal and spicy notes play nicely in a caramel essence to produce a beautiful, sessionable beer. We're not sure about the ABV, but we will go with what they say is sessionable and assume it's uh, kind of low. Kind of low. <laughs> Well, well, I didn't get a nice well, tan you, head. It, you did. I just talked to them. On. Yeah, yeah, damn right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ramble on forever. Make the effort to get to White Street. That was the point I was trying to make. New crowd from uh, Wake Forest. They're very uh, welcoming to us when we were up there, and we were very proud to uh, brought back a growler yep. from the New White Street. So yeah. It, the, so you, you're and yours is retaining a little bit too. It is. Well, like I had dark, a better, I had a better one. It is dark and mahogany. Oh, I mean, dead on color. Yeah, very malt, yeah. Nice, but some sweetness coming through already, the spicy notes. Yep. Nice smell. Yeah, it is very, very, so pe very appealing. Yeah, nice, you know, it's, it's a nice malty, pure smell. It's kind of seasonal smelling too, in some ways. It's kind of, it's, it's fallish, I think. <laughs> Just drink. <laughs> drink. Ooh, it's smooth, sweet. It's got a little a mouth feel to it. It, it lingers very, a little bit, but very light carbonation. Right. Uh, oh. Can't say I've had a lot of Scottish ales, but this is a this is a very good example of it. I think it's. I, I don't know if it's um, it, it's medium bodied. It's not overwhelmingly deep, heavy. Right. Um, but it's pleasant. I mean, it's like I said, it's crazy drinkable. Oh. And maybe that's what they meant by sessionable instead of low alcohol. There's no alcohol bite to it, so it is on the low side, I think. It's just very pleasing. Oh, they disguised it very well. <laughs> that's right, maybe so. <laughs> uh, I think they, they've hit a good uh, note here. It is uh, complex. There's plenty of maltiness coming through. The uh, I get more spice than herbs in my palate. No, it's got no herbs. Right. I'm not, I don't get them either. No. Um, it's just... Uh, Nice, it's malty, um, not chocolatey. Uh, I think it's true malt. I mean, yes, yeah. it's, it's a true malt. It's, it's, that's, I think that's great. I'm gonna go with the growler from the growler. Uh, I could settle in for some of this and do quite well. Uh, we happen to know that it is the best seller now at White Street, and it's a great um, thing that is introducing a new brand of beer, a new kind of beer up in the Wake Forest area. Smoky. What do you think? Slight smoky. Oh, I like, I'm going with this because I think it's such a smooth drinking beer and it's better than the kind of what I expected from a Scottish Ale. Mm -hmm. So when it's better than expected, try go with one of these. Um, yes, I mean, I like it. It's, it's almost, I mean, I don't know what the, we haven't said what the ABV is on this thing, but it's like dangerous because because <laughs> you keep drinking it. No matter, it's, no, matter it's what, no matter what the ABV is, <laughs> it's drinkable and it's dangerous. Uh -huh. um, so that's two growlers for the new crowd up at White Street in Wake Forest. And uh, we look yeah. forward to wow. trying more of their brew and reviewing some later. Remember, as always, go up to White Street, provide some feedback to them, get some of this beer for yourself, provide, uh, get your, form your own opinions. We always look forward to hearing from you as to what we're doing, and we know the folks at White Street would love to see you up there and love to hear from you. Yeah. Until next time, remember, drink local, keep your beer laws in North Carolina, and we'll catch you later, buds.